Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to talk about remote controls for roller blinds and then for the RTS roller blinds. Um, and as you can see there's quite a wide selection of remote controls or control options. So um, we're going to go in detail and see what's, uh, what's the best option uh, for you. First of all we have the TELUS. This is the TELUS 4 which has five channels, four LEDs, which is, called, which is why it's probably called the TELUS 4. Um, and this allows you to control five blinds or five groups of blinds but you can also make combinations of those so for example four individual blinds and the fifth channel will be a group channel. If you don't know how to make a group channel I recommend that you watch one of the other videos where group control is discussed and you can see exactly how you can make a group of blinds and control them with the press of one button. Now, as I said this is the TELUS 4 there is also a TELUS 1 which is also very common and that's often supplied with a blind um, and it allows you to control one individual blind or one group of blinds. And that's the, that's the, the common handheld remote controls. Um, we also have this remote control, which is a Smooth Origin RTS. And that's a wall mounted control, still wireless, so it's battery powered, just as the other RTS controls. Um, and that's really handy if you, for example, have app control, but you still want a local control point um, and something you, you can't lose. So you actually can stick this or screw this to the wall and it's in one position and allows uh, for individual control or group control of, uh, of one group or one individual blinds. So that's a very handy remote control, especially in combination with app control because not everybody will have an app or will have direct access to the app. So when you then still want to close or open um, the blinds, it's just one press of the button. As you can see, there's a My button here as well, which we also had on the Talus 4, and it allows you to directly access an intermediate position if it's programmed. So if you program the, the My or intermediate position, one press of, the, of this button when the, remote, oh, sorry, when the blind is not moving will get you to this intermediate position. Again, if you don't know how to do this, then watch one of the other videos where the setting the My position is, uh, is discussed. So that's, uh, that's two of the basic remotes. Um, when you have a lot of blinds, um, then this remote control is a very good option. It's a Tele 16 and it allows for control of 16 individual um, roller blinds or groups of blinds. Um, it has no timer function, so that's one, one thing you have to realize. It's individual control, so up, down or my position and stop, um, but no um, timer. What it does allow you with this little display is to give each channel a name, especially when you have 16 channels, very nice to know which one you exactly are uh, controlling. So you can give a name and there's always an indication of the channel number. So uh, for example, if you give uh, channel 6 uh, in the dresser to the kitchen, then that's, uh, that's what will be shown in the display. So you can uh, set the name to kitchen and you know that channel 6 is that exact channel. Um, so that's a very handy remote, especially when you have a lot of blinds. And there's another option, um, which is the TELUS 6. So it looks very similar to the TELUS, uh, TELUS 16, but only has six channels, but it does have timer control. So you can make six groups um, of blinds or have six individual blinds and control them via time as well. Um, switching from time to individual control is with this uh, selector button. So um, when you switch this, it will go to automatic settings and otherwise it will go to the direct control via the three buttons. Um, and these two are the selector buttons uh, to go to different channels. Now you have six operations per day, so that means you can open and close in the morning and the evening, but also have it go to, for example, in the immediate position at midday. So that's, uh, that's very handy. And you can have a, a different, uh, different timer setting for each day. So it uh, gives you a lot of flexibility. And it's, um, it's an ideal remote control if you don't want to go for, for an app, and you just want to have a handheld remote control that allows you to do some basic automation. Now if you want a little bit more than that, then you want to, uh, to have an app, then this is, um, this is the, um, the Connexune RTS. There are two versions, there's an RTS and an I.O. version. And if you have RTS um, blinds, then uh, this is the version you need, the RTS version. And that allows you to, uh, to control your blinds uh, via an app, which is, of course, very easy to use. Um, you do need uh, internet connection and it needs to be wired. So there is a little connector here for the Ethernet cable that you need to connect to, uh, to your router, for example. And that will allow you to, uh, to control your blinds via an app. And that's, uh, that's very easy. And again, you can use the app control 
together with uh, individual remotes. So you do need to choose one or the other. Um, if you want a local remote like the Smooth at some specific position and you still want to use the app, you can do both um, and the motors will listen to, to both commands. If you want to be, go a bit further than that, but I know it's not available in every region in the world, you can also go to Tahoma. Um, the main benefit of Tahoma is that it uh, allows for more automation. So you can, for example, um, connect smoke sensors as well, and you can make scenarios based on that. So, for example, when there's a smoke alarm, your blinds will go up and uh, the lights will come on, for example. So that's a, that's a very good option. And in addition to that, it not only controls RTS, but it also controls I.O. So if you have newer motors where um, IO, uh, the I.O. Uh, technology has been used, then Tama can control both. Like I said, with Connexune you have to choose. So if you have a mix, uh, you don't want two apps on your phone, you don't want two Connexunes, then it's best to go to Tahoma because it will control both I.O. and RTS. Again, with Tahoma as well, you can still use any individual control as well. So uh, your motors will respond uh, to both once they're linked. Now let's look at pricing. Um, I'll give the pricing a euro. Um, the Telus 1 is, uh, is around 30 euros, Telus 4 around 50. The Smooth Origin RTS around 35. Both the Telus 6 and Telus 16 about 150. Um, um, sorry, the Connex soon about 160 to 170 and the Telma about 300 euros. So that gives you an idea of, uh, of how much they cost. Um, if you would like to know the exact prices, then, uh, then you can find um, the links in the description so you know exactly what the current prices are. We have all of these in stock um, and they all come with a five-year warranty uh, so you're covered if any, anything happens in that, uh, in that period of time. If you have any questions about, um, about which remote control to, ch to choose, then, uh, then let me know. Um, you can leave a comment in the description or you can find our contact details there as well and send us an email with any questions. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.